Hello, welcome. We're going to use a combination of algebra and the calculator to solve this one. Although you don't need to, I feel like that's my fastest approach. Um, so pause the video, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to solve it. So they want to know in this question which function has the largest maximum or highest point. I'll go to the graph first uh, where they can see it. We have one, two, about two and a half on the x, and then up to two, three, four, about four and a half. So we're trying to beat a height of four and a half. So in this um, equation, it's already written in standard form, where a, the coefficient of x squared, is negative 5, b is negative 12, the coefficient of x, and c is 4. So this is already set up, and the vertex, uh, which represents the turning point in your parabola, I know it's a parabola, we've got x squared, and they said they're quadratic, is negative b over 2a. And for us, in this case, that would be negative negative 12, or 12, over negative 10, right? 2 times a is negative 10. And that's negative 1.2. Now that's the x value of the vertex. To find the y value, we always plug the x in. So we find k of negative 1.2, right? And if we do that, if we plug in negative 1.2 into this expression, what you should get is 11.2. That's the, the height of this function. That's clearly larger than choice four. This seems to be the candidate we're going with. Now in the next two functions, we can do the same thing for one. We can multiply and do negative b over 2a. I think it's a little bit quicker to use a calculator. So I'm going to press y equals and then enter this function directly. So it's going to be 3 minus x, close parentheses, times 2 plus x, close parentheses, graph it. And I happen to see my function. You can even do zoom 6 to see a zoom standard a little bit closer. Now I want the maximum value here. I hit second, trace, and I'm interested in choice 4, the maximum. And then I go to the left of the max, the right of the maximum, hit enter, and it gives me an estimate. And you can see it's, it's saying 0.499991, that's 0.5. And the height is 6.25. So our, our maximum here is 5, 6.25. That's certainly lower than choice three. And the only candidate left is this table right here. Now you can see that this is gonna peak above nine, right? The question is, does it reach 11? And the way I would do this is to use quadratic regression on the calculator. You go to stat, edit. If you have old data on your list, you go to the top, clear and enter to clear them off. And the calculator can give you the equation for this. You can graph the equation and find the maximum. Um, so here I enter my x values. We have negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Our y values, negative 3, 5, 9, 9, 5, negative 3. And now I want to know what the maximum of this thing is, so I have to find the equation. Stat, calc. This is quadratic, so I pick choice 5, enter. And it gives me the equation. The equation is negative 2x squared, negative 2x squared plus 6x, and then plus c is 5. Okay. I want to use negative b over 2a at this point instead of graphing it for fun. So negative b is negative 6 over 2a is um, 2 times negative 2 is 4. And Um, sorry, negative 4, and if we divide these two, sorry, just, just kind of blanking out there for a second, we get 1.5. But that's not the height, that's the x value where the maximum happens, right? Right between 1 and 2. There's some value above 9 here. So we plug in 1 and 1 1.5 for x, f of x, f of 1.5. If we plug into our equation here, Right, go through the process, plug in 1.5, and figure it out, we get 9.5. So that means the maximum here, and you can figure that out, just go through it, plug in 1.5 for x. That means the maximum for this graph is when x is 1.5, y is 9.5. And that means the, the largest maximum is choice number 3. Alright, hope this helped.